Okay guys, this is gonna be a pretty short video, I think. Um, now the seat's been, or the chair has been, you know, totally taken out of the box and everything. I'm just gonna do a quick run through of the chair and give you guys a, a few more of the tidbits as to why I chose to get this. Uh, I'll make a separate set of videos or a separate video or, you know, whatever I decide uh, with regards to how to actually adjust the seat. Um, just so it'll be easier for you guys to find it. But for this, I'm pretty much just gonna show you the chair. Um, I've been running around all day, so sorry if I don't look that great. Um, first off, I'm just going to do a quick rotation. At the profile, you can, you can see how it sort of matches the curvature of the spine. And then from the back, you can start seeing all of those little fingers that, that hold your back all around it. And that stops you from having any one pressure point, um, especially because, I'm not sure how visible it is, but each one of these is independent. So as you see, each single one of these is independent. Now, I know I called it the Bentley of office chairs and the fact of the matter is there is a big difference between a Herman Miller and a Bentley and it's not just the engine. It's the fact that, you know, it's not made of leather. And I know that I used to be the type of person who used to really want leather for my office chairs and I'm sure there are a couple of you guys who are the same way. Um, I just thought it was a bit fancier uh, you know, a bit more executive. Um, but the fact of the matter is, in the same way that when you sit on a, in a car with leather seats, um, and you know, you sort of find out, if you're doing a long drive, you guys have probably experienced this too, that your back gets sweaty and your legs get sweaty and it just feels really disgusting. An office chair is the same way, which is why they've put a lot of money and time into engineering these different, uh, you know, multi-layered fabrics that they have. Uh, this one is, a little bit of an upgrade. I think it was like a hundred bucks more or something. I definitely do prefer it though when I check out the different seats. This is a multi-layer fabric. The other one breathes really well too, but this one's meant specifically for breathing. Whereas, you know, you have multi-layers. You have the bottom layer, you have a middle layer, and the middle layer is this sort of hold. It has all of these giant holes going all around. And uh, the top layer is a very, very thin sort of mesh that covers it to make sure nothing falls in. And what that does, you have these holes right here and then you have this mesh on the top. So you have these little channels for heat and uh, you know, moisture to escape. And the idea is that your back doesn't get sweaty. Um, and when I sat in them and when I've looked at reviews of other people's you know, experiences with the chairs, you know, they all talk about the fact that their back never gets sweaty anymore aside from the fact that it feels great, their back doesn't get sweaty. Which if you're spending a lot of time in an office chair, you don't want to get up and just feel disgusting. That's, that's never fun. Um, the chairs are extremely adjustable. You can adjust pretty much like a Bentley seat. You can adjust how far up this goes. You can adjust how far up these go and what angle they go out and in. You can adjust, obviously, uh, the height of the chair. You can adjust how much this, the seat will tilt back and how much resistance it gives you when it tilts back. And you can also adjust the curvature of this back to sort of fill in your entire back. So again, obviously the build quality of this thing's phenomenal. Obviously it's extremely sexy and it stands out. You know, anybody who works in an office sees that it stands out. Um, but it's all of these little technological things they've done, especially this back. I think they've won a couple of awards for this, obviously. Um, but you know, where else can you get a seat that lowers your blood pressure, helps you breathe better because of the, the way everything's spaced out? Um, actually, I just realized you can see this, but just to show you the attention to detail these guys have, you'll notice that there are these bolsters that come up from the sides like this, this V shape coming up, and then it's a bit filled down here. This fills your lumbar. These grab the muscles on your back that sort of pull up. And this area right here holds your shoulder blades and your shoulders. So even when you're sitting down, just the way that the, the shape of the chair fits you, and again, you can adjust a lot of this with the knobs and everything, it fits your back perfectly. And then those fingers hold you once you're in that position. So you don't have any pressure points and you don't have anything sort of going where it's meeting resistance. Every little pocket, every little space here is designed for that specific part of your body. It's not like other chairs where you have a flat back or you have those three you know, lumps of leather or whatever it is. Um, this is literally designed for your body. You can see it when I'm doing this. You can see the reflections. And you can see it really well here. So that's this video. Like I said, it'll be a little bit short. Um, 
In the next video, I'll actually start discussing how to do all these different uh, adjustments. Bye-bye.